In the late summer of 1947, the world watched with bated breath as the United Nations voted on a historic plan to partition Palestine into separate Jewish and Arab states. The decision was met with a mixture of hope and despair, and it set the stage for a turbulent period in the region's history. Amidst the bustling streets of Jerusalem, Sarah, a young Jewish woman, and Ahmed, a Palestinian man, found their lives intertwined in the midst of this turbulent time. They had grown up in the same neighborhood, sharing a common history and countless memories. But as the partition plan was announced, their world changed dramatically. The challenges emerged immediately. Sarah's family, like many Jewish families, celebrated the prospect of a Jewish homeland. They painted their home blue and white, the colors of the soon-to-be-established State of Israel. The dream of returning to their ancestral homeland, as they had sung about for generations, was within reach. However, this dream came at a cost. Ahmed's family, on the other hand, faced uncertainty and anxiety. They worried about their future in a Jewish-majority state and the potential loss of their ancestral lands. The news of partition brought a mix of anger and despair as they realized that their homeland would be divided. As the partition date neared, tensions rose in the streets. Sarah and Ahmed found themselves caught in a swirl of emotions and events. They had been close friends, but now their friendship was strained by the political turmoil that threatened to tear their communities apart. On the fateful day when the partition plan was to be implemented, violence erupted in the streets. Riots, clashes, and chaos engulfed the city. Sarah and Ahmed, who had once shared dreams of a peaceful coexistence, found themselves on opposite sides of a painful divide. In the midst of the turmoil, Sarah's family fled to the newly formed Israel, where they faced the challenges of building a new nation from scratch. Ahmed's family remained in Palestine, grappling with the challenges of displacement and adjusting to life in the West Bank. Years passed, and the wounds of partition ran deep. Sarah and Ahmed lost touch, their friendship buried beneath the weight of history. Yet, both yearned for a better future, one where Jews and Palestinians could live side by side in peace. Decades later, in a world still marked by conflict, Sarah and Ahmed's paths crossed again. They met at a peace conference, where they shared stories of their families, their shared history, and the dream of a peaceful coexistence. As they looked out over the ancient city of Jerusalem, they realized that the wounds of partition could only heal through dialogue, understanding, and a shared vision for a better future. The partition of 1947 had left scars on both communities, but it also highlighted the resilience of individuals like Sarah and Ahmed, who dared to believe that, despite the challenges and divisions, peace was possible. Their story became a testament to the enduring hope that, one day, the lines drawn in the sand might be replaced by bridges of understanding and reconciliation.